coach or? Jared, so Jared was a coach last year for a different team. And then with this, this is the first year back. This is like the first year back of the Matadors. I guess the Matadors is an old, old yeah, yeah. Um, semi-pro team. Um, Um, so Jared, I guess Jared had the itch and is coming back. So, so I will tell you, Chet and Jared both told me, if we're up, you're going in yeah, in the second half. Jared, it's like, it's going to be like a preseason game. Jared's going to get one series and then you're in for the rest of the half. And it's not a, hey, you're handing the ball off. We're, we're Bruce Arians. It's going to be great. I this can't wait. Season. Are you guys ready? Uh, I am born ready. Oh. Yes, sir. Ready when you're Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, what's that word? Ambiance? Ambiance? Ambiance. Yeah, that was the one. Ambulance. Welcome to Beers with the Boys. We got the boys. So we got Nick, Seth, and boys. Beers. Salute. Put a whole fancy whopping truly and Keystone mixture, so. Mm -hmm. just, just typical Coors Light. Yeah, Coors Light. Not the banquet beer or the Yellow Jacket, yeah. just the normal Coors Light. <laughs> Banquet's good, though. That's like one of the first ones that I like, drink oh. regularly after I was 21, so. <laughs> Dude, the first time, I think I had, I found my, I found in my dad's like beer fridge mm -hmm. when I was a little kid in high school, like NG Geese. Oh, oh, hell oh, yeah. Man. And I tried to have one, literally puked. I was like, never again. My dad, my dad was Rolling Rock, dude. Oh, I love Rolling Rock. Yeah. So cheap. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing Rolling Rock's good is for when you're like going on a road trip or something like that, and you want to have a beer as like a passenger in the backseat, because it looks just like a Sprite can. Yeah. So, the only thing. It's good for good road soda. I mean, really? that, we would never condone drinking and driving. No, no, being a not. passenger yeah. in a moving vehicle is different, though. You're being chauffeured. So <laughs> no, but I just I saw the MJ. I, I know I was like, oh, like, I like Budweiser. Like Budweiser is still good. They're just so fucking heavy. And, uh, and I guess I'm not a real man, I guess. But you know, <laughs> so I was like, hey, I'll have an MGD. Like it's not bad. And uh, one to few or so bad. I've never had a banquet beer or a, a yellow jacket, as they call them. We, right, we used to play disc golf, um, and if you hit par, you were fine. If you got over par, though, you'd have to shotgun. And um, I think the only thing we had, because we were drinking all the rest of our beer, and this is like our third time going through this course, because it's a pretty short course that's um, down the road. And so we had Budweiser. Mm. And so we're just shotgunning Budweiser's out yeah, there. Just getting like trash. Yeah. Yeah. We bought like a 30 bomb. We just start dumping them in our bags. And it's like, oh, that's full. Dumping in another bag. Oh, that's full. Another. Yeah. If you if you didn't par, yeah, you know, if you shot out, like shot the hole three, you're, the next hole three, you're feeling pretty good. <laughs> hole six, you're passing out. You know? Yeah, you either got good or you hole got nine, really bad. You know? yeah. <laughs> nine, you're face down. Yeah. You, know? you don't even make nine. You passed out at eight. Yeah, yeah, so. so yeah, it's just like if if you're good, you're good. If you're not, you're not. So it, it was a lot of fun though. I honestly. Can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to honestly start going disc golfing again. It's just fun. Walk around, drink, go for my exercise, be outside. Yeah. Yeah, it's all. I mean, so now we, I'm like, jeez. We're on the news, fucking every other time we go. So. That's I don't true. know if they told you about that. Like the one time Skyler came with us, you know, some dude was doing. I think he bragged about it. Yeah, yeah. Skyler's just like, but yeah, man, just like coming out of here, you know. Just get feeling the breeze. It's a good time to hang out my boys. It's like that first time Scott's hanging out in like months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, this is that What a guy. Yeah. 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 Just got, they want to uh, interview for everybody. They're like, do you want to talk? I'm like, no. I'm right. Yeah. I, I was like, give me that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me that back. Give me that back. Yeah, but I, I have a lot of fun doing that. So I'm like, hell yeah. And that dude was pretty cool. He's like, I come out here one, about once a year or so. Yeah. I go on the mic. It's like, you know, it's like, I throw one more fucking disc in that goddamn water. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, man. I'm gonna do some crazy shit. Some crazy. <laughs> you never seen nothing that's yeah. crazy. Vocal crackhead. Yeah, you just start taking Vocal off your shoes and like kicking. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Vocal crackhead loves frisbee golf. Little does he know he's not good at it. Vocal yeah. crackhead hates frisbee yeah. golf. He <laughs> loves martial arts in the park. Yeah. Yeah, it's so much fun. I, so, especially like there and Morrison, there's this dude that got out of jail and was living at the fucking park for a while. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So you just like see them all the time, and like you, that kind of happens. You like see people living in vans or whatever, you know, and stuff like that. I remember one day we went out there to go play disc golf. No, this is actually, I think this is when we were practicing for football. He like cruised on by. He's like, I finally got myself a ride. He's in like this pretty yeah. nice van, so. Yeah. He's like, I picked it up from an old lady, but you know, you just see him all the time and talk to him. Yeah, he, he's always, his van's always parked there. He's always there, and yeah, he's like, I finally got a van. I'm like, yeah, brother, here's some beer. Now, they, they, some people can't, can't spend the night at Ann Morrison. Well, yeah, you're not. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. like, I always see cops, like, oh, yeah. patrolling. Yeah, they, yeah, they're all there also. Well, I mean, they're on schedule, so the cops. So if you come uh, down the, um, what is it, the other, what's the other hill? Americana? Americana, yeah. yeah. So if you come down Americana before the dog park was built, there was like, you know, a bunch of you know tables there that they would set up throughout the park, and all the homeless guys would drag over there, and they would just play. So I remember like one night, you know, we snuck out. We were like kids, we were like fucking around the horse, not doing anything, just hanging out. And, you know, we just saw cop cars come in. And they'd go up there and they'd just start smashing their sirens with their lights all on, you know, pointing at the homeless people to help them get out the park. You know, mm-hmm. just, you're like, thank God it's them and not us, because we're trying to like go up Yeah, there. we're all like, you know, like all the way up across the park, we're like, oh, I, on the ground, yeah. yeah. Ooh. You know, they're fucking with homeless people. <laughs> homeless people that are trying to stab us. Yeah, like just, that, you know? yeah, homeless people are just trying to go to sleep, you know, <laughs> outside. Yeah, but I mean, Albertson's Park is also across the street from it, which is pretty nice to go walk, especially like a springtime comes soon. Oh, yeah. So it's because it's like a whole other world like, yeah. that you just like walk into. So yeah. then you see like deer, you know, and you're just like, what the fuck, man? Like, I'm in the city and it's just like wilderness. That's just all of a sudden popped up. So. And it feels like it's so much deeper than it is. Like, cause you just keep walking and walking and walking. So, but. yeah, I'm tired of this weather, but I'm glad we're not getting hit with snow like the Midwest is right now. So. I know. Yeah, we're fucking. I saw Texas was getting hit with snow, and they like the fucking whole freaking out. Are, yeah. The whole states are gonna collapse now. Yeah, <laughs> the whole power grid's gonna collapse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they've got it dialed in a little bit more. Who knows with them goddamn Texas benders, You know, yeah. like the only thing you need is propane, propane accessories. <laughs> Like Chicago got hit with like a little bit over a foot. Indiana, Ohio got like two feet, I think. So. Yeah, the groundhog was fucking right. He said six more weeks of winter. Uh, fucking dumped on the East Coast. It's like fuck y'all. Fucking blizzard. Yeah. <laughs> well, up north they got snow. Lewis. Yeah. I know. This one just like sent me a video. He's like, look at all the snow. I'm like, sucks. Thank God. Yeah. Right, Sucks well, suck. <laughs> I just don't want to get it anymore. I'm yeah. tired of it. I'm just like, all right, we had our fun. Let's uh, get to spring yeah. and summer now. We Mark, had a nice two weeks of truck. Christmas and New Year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, it's nice. Yeah, it was like a good month, realistically, you know. Yeah. All right, should so we nice. get to the 40s and 50s? Yeah, it was like my toes are still freezing. It would snow a bunch and then like melt away and then finally be all gone. It'd be like nice snow again. Yeah. yeah. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> now if you go to Seth's front yard, there's still snow there. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the only place in Idaho with snow. <laughs> I have like one little mound right next to my driveway. If I, I finally like grow grass, you know, in, you know, November, you know, <laughs> and then the snow is covering up my grass. <laughs> the only thing that grows there is weed and weed accessories. Yeah. <laughs> and fireworks. Yeah. 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 Weeds and fucking arson. Yeah. <laughs> we could change the location next year for a set of ends, oh. you know. Funny thing, so apparently, you know, um, the um, road right across from my driveway. So yeah. There's nothing but like college kids that live there. Apparently. There's like a whole. Apparently, yeah. dude, like every like day, there's like some bullshit going on there. Laura will tell me about it, but you know, me, I'm like face down in my bed, you know, passed out. Get your old. Yeah, getting yeah. those, you know, four hours of sleep I get every night yeah. in there. You know, <laughs> gotta get that steady four hours. Yeah. Apparently, there's like a fuck ton of people out there, you know, screaming and everything. She's like, did you hear you that? Like, no, I'm dead to the world. Yeah. <laughs> I know, sleep it's like, no, you can be outside. I'm just screaming, hollering. I can't hear it. But, you know, as soon as my, you know, baby makes his nipples, I'm like, all right, now I'm awake. You know? I know. Yeah. Especially, like, here, the hamster starts making noise, and Shannon wakes up. And Shannon waking <laughs> up yeah. and doing shit is what wakes me up. I even could give two bucks less what the hamster does. Like, it's just her moving or doing something is what wakes me up. Like, it's just, like, the hamsters keep me awake. I'm like, the hamster's like, oh, what out? <laughs> the hamster's hanging <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm awake! And it's just like, ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh. It's like that dog from fucking Meet the Mitchells or whatever yeah. the fuck it is. It's just like stacked. Let me out! And it looks over, it's like, is that the hamster or Pickle Rick? Or yeah. Like, Jesus. He's chewing on the middle, like, yeah. I swear to God, when I get out of here. 
I know how to rap, you know, so. I swear but, to God, when I get out of here, I'm going to Jaguar. <laughs> we're ruling the world. I know. But yeah, so. It's pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Um, my team lost. So, fucking sucks. My quarterback sucks dick. He can throw the ball at the fucking ground, but you know, he's like, nah, let me try to over One him. bad pass. Yeah, one bad game. pass at the end of the game, dog. One bad pass. At the end. No, there wasn't one bad pass. What do you have? A, few a 13 point pass. lead? Kind of mm-hmm. reminds me of that Super Bowl you guys ran with him. Hey, when you had like a 13 point lead. lead. Did they have a lead? Then we, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had a lead. And then Patrick Mahomes started being Patrick Mahomes and you kept him. running down the yeah, field. That was like, like a Super bad Bowl. man. Oh, we're talking about Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah not a Sunday. Sunday. I'm like, oh, oh man, that was Rams. Rams. Yeah, Sunday. No, no I thought the Rams were winning the whole time. No, 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 no. They were. I think it was like 17 to like. 17 to 7 or something. 17 to 3. Yeah, they had like a lead and then just. Yeah, they had a lead for a minute. They could have had it. Like, the fucking, there were so many opportunities. And then Cooper Cup was like, all right. Yeah, they, you just kept shooting. Cup scored a lot in yeah. the first half. He scored no. two touchdowns. No, 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 second half. No, second half. No, no, the second, no, Cup had the first two. And yeah. then, uh, the, the right. second half, the second half, uh, I don't know who the third one. I forget who the third one. Yeah. Our special team's top fucking notch. I don't know if you saw that fucking uh, punt. Um, yeah, you were there. yeah, no, no, no. The punt from the 49ers uh, during this game, and it was about to go out of bounds. And so what he did is he jumped, he smacked the ball in bounds instead of it going into the end zone, and then he yeah. jumped on the ball. So they're at like the one yard line or two yard yeah. line. So instead of it going out and then going to the 25, I mean, it just like dang, little things like that. Yeah, they can that right, can really win you games. Yeah, that's when you're like, damn, they're like going great, and then they fucking shit the bed. Yeah, and they were okay. like, oh, we got them down the one yard line, and they march down there all the way and score. You're like, yeah. wow, that's a real I mean, wild killer. Unfortunately, to, to say is, I think um, they just kind of ran into the, the LA muscle. Yeah. I mean, those first of all, Aaron Donald yeah. is trying. He is if he wins a Super Bowl. He will beat J.J. Watt as one of, if not the greatest defensive player ever to play this game. So he is on a mission. Von Miller's on a mission, obviously. Um, which everyone's talking about Aaron Donald and Von Miller, but Leonard Floyd, who is the other defensive end or linebacker, is playing way better than Von Miller. Yeah. It's just not the, the famous name. Um, but yeah, I mean, Eric Weddle was, I guess, the leading tackler on Sunday, and he's came out of retirement to only play for two weeks, so. Yeah. Well, was, I thought it was a good game. I just, I think they came across, there was so yeah, much more motivation in yeah. L.A., for L.A. Oh, than there was San Francisco. Yeah. I mean, the coach, you know, San Fran's beaten L.A. the past six games they've played, um, so there was that. L- the game is in LA, yeah. like the Super Bowl is in LA, so LA is trying to keep it a home team. And now the LA gets to play there for the Super Bowl. Yeah, um, this is the first time. Like this is back to back. So last year was the first time uh, the, the home team is in the Super Bowl. Now it's back to back. So see if they win against them. Yeah, I think next year it's in. I think next year's in Vegas. Yeah, they already so, have a plan. Well, so that's all right. It's, always, it's, always it's not going to be back to back to back then. The Raiders so ain't fucking making it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> um, I, I just I think they came across a buzz. So I mean, yeah, I think but at the same time, game. that safety catches that in yep, the game's game. over. Yeah. So I mean, I, it's just it's one of those things. I feel like the Rams, like they're just yeah, as we were saying, all the talent on that team. There's just so much talent on that. Yeah. And, then, and then, you know, Fortnite has to be able to hold them back, you know. Yeah, this Not like running, push- running a train on them, but like, I want to see the Rams lose just because of all the talent they have. Just all the see you know, Joe Burrow all this fucking talent and just send the fuck it up. Like, I want to see, I see, I love, I love Stafford. Yeah. So the being, being in Chicago time. for the past 11 years, I got to watch, you get to watch some Lions games. Yeah. And literally the narrative I think across the nation has been this Matt Stafford sucks. And he's actually a good player, just he's on a shitty team. Yeah. But because he never bitched, he just showed up and played. And, like, I mean, there's videos of him, like, I think it was like he literally separated his mm-hmm. shoulder and still, and still, still won a game. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, like, I think he broke his back one year, like, broke something with his back. So, I mean, the fact, just the fact that now he's on a team that's, giving him an opportunity yeah. to win 
and he's showing that he's an elite quarterback, I think. I'm, and I also think with the Rams winning, it's a win-win for both teams. Excuse me, because the Bengals haven't won a playoff game in 30 years, let alone a bet, like, to be in the Super Bowl since I think it was the Bengals-San Francisco Super Bowl back in I think the 80s or 90s. So the fact that they're, they've now killed a lot of their curses, like, and there's hope because the team is so young. Yeah. The Rams win it. Matt Stafford has that narrative to change. Odell gets his ring. Yeah. Aaron Donald gets his ring. I think it's a win-win for them. I feel like, yeah, I mean. I'm excited. I feel like the Bengals will bounce back, like, is what you're saying. Like all the curses are going to yeah. yeah, they'll you know they lost Super Bowl. They'll, they'll, bounce right, they'll bounce right back. Well, like, the Bengals are going to be they're going to be so good because I think the Bengals are going to be good because I think the Ravens are going to have the Ravens are going to take a step back. Yeah. I think once they have to pay Lamar Jackson, and I think they're just not that good. And I think teams are starting to figure out like how to play Lamar, which is always a problem. Is why the reason why kind of RG three for the Redskins faded away. Um, the Browns are kind of showing that they're the Browns. Yep. And Cleveland's Cleveland, and um, and then the Steelers I think do have to take a step back because go. Ben's gone. Um, they're got to retool a little bit. Um, so it's interesting. I mean, ESPN came out with an article. I 100% disagree with it about like who's the quarterback. Who's they kind of try to predict all the quarterbacks of next year. Yeah, like so, who's are going to be the good ones? No, like who's the starting quarterbacks oh, of all thirty-two okay. teams? Yeah. They, but the article was stupid because I, I'm still on the bandwagon of Aaron Rodgers will not be a Green Bay Packer next year. Yeah, I don't think Russell Wilson will be a Seattle Seahawk next year. Um, it's obvious Jimmy Garoppolo will not be a 49er this year. He already said kind of goodbye and thank you. Yeah. Um, and I think there's Brady's retiring. Mm-hmm. Brady retired, which we called, I, I believe, yeah. last week. And literally so, the next day. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's, there was a lot of writing on the wall. But we predicted. No. We predicted. <laughs> um, but I also think there's some backups that are going to get a starting opportunity that people aren't thinking of. Mitch Trubisky's, I think. My grandfather is soup, has a super big heart on for Mitch Trubisky to join the Washington Football team now. What is it? Yeah. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> um, not the worst name. Ever? No, it, it is the worst name. Yeah, it, it is actually. Have you seen all the memes? It's like they went from being the Redskins yeah. to the people that killed kill the Redskins. Redskins. Yeah. <laughs> like their nickname is going to be the Commies. <laughs> Let alone yeah. the Communist skin colors are yeah. red and yellow. Yeah. Like we're the Washington Give me my communists. sickle. Yeah. Yeah, it's brutal. So you that's one that? of the reasons why I wore my Hail to the Redskins hat today. Do we, yeah. With the hogs inside, because that would have been an easy name. I'm gonna probably copyrighted that. That's probably why they didn't get it. Well, like, yeah, but the they could have. Yeah, but they're multi-billion no, dollar. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, but like, they don't want to pay multi-billion dollars to some fucking yeah, asshole. Yeah, so someone. So house, you know? there was a uh, a neighbor, I guess a neighborhood yeah, beef. Yeah. Um, but I don't think Hogs were a part of that. I, I know Red Wolves were, and a few others were, like Bravehearts were. Because I think Bravehearts were supposed to be the next one if he ever had to change the name and the guy bought it and I think refused to give it to him. Um, I think Washington, D.C. would like veto some of these fucking name ideas that they have. Well, Commanders, obviously it's a military ranking. I, I've never really heard it, but it's a military ranking commander-in-chief. Um, I just, I mean, my parents, parents, my grandfather and I have been, we're, we've been kind of talking back and forth about it, yeah. and uh, I, I, I am under the impression that the owner of the team, Dan Snyder, s- gave in, sold out, yeah. for something that we will see, we will find out in the next few years, whether that's a, whether that's a stadium in D.C. That was being he was being blocked by govern by DC's local government or something like. Yeah. So. Well, if they win a Super Bowl, then yeah, well, they matter are they gonna like move soon? So like. Right. So the so he wants so oh, okay so the problem for for all West Coast people and for you two, not really knowing much of the East Coast, um, Washington the, the Washington DC Commanders, but they play in Landover, Maryland, which is about an hour outside of. Washington D.C. D.C. is um, tiny though. Yeah. 
Oh, DC is extremely tiny, but it's okay. I mean, they used to play the stadium before the FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland was RFK Stadium. Um, it was right along the Potomac River, and it's really nice. I've been there. Um, it's right off the Potomac River, so you get the Potomac, you get the river wind, and it kind of like circles, and it could be like 60 degrees outside, and that place feels like it's 30. So it's yeah. really it's really cool, and there was a home field advantage in that sense. Um, but so there is room for the for a new stadium to be built. Uh, Dan Snyder wants he's already hired an architectural architect company to build the stadium, like to you know print or write it out or draw it out and get some design plans. Yeah, I know the former governor of Virginia was advocating for the team stadium to be moved to Virginia near Dulles Airport. Um, so sort of like how the Raider Stadium is right outside of the airport. Is it? Well, yeah. the Raider Stadium is right on the strip. No, no, it's not. It's literally at the right behind the strip. Oh, but it, I feel like it's closer to the airport because it's... Well, the airport's only this, five minutes You can see the, the stadium. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. But um, because it's... The airport's right here. The stadium's right here, which they need to make more parking for that fucking stadium. And then the strip's like kind of the over here. Stadium we stayed in the luxury. It is the smallest stadium. Which is yeah, it's like right on across. the corner. It's right across. Yeah. So that's like the closest you can see. And then the rest of the strip goes yeah. the other way. But yeah. But yeah, it's fucking no parking for that fucking place. And it's like, this is... You just built this, you know, couple million dollar Death fucking star. studio. I yeah. love that name for it. But no, it looks I mean, badass. I like it how they have like a huge ass fucking, you know, goddamn screen right next to the highway. I'm yeah. like, dude, that's going to be so many crashes. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that's like what that. Super Bowl you guys was thought that. Year. Year. Well, yeah. I believe it's But there's also a lot of reasons why. Dude, like, I, want a Lam- I want a Lambo before. fucking Super Bowl, dude. What? I want a fucking cold Super Bowl. I want a Lambo. I want somewhere up north. You, you won't get Lambo. Lambo. Lambo can't handle the. The mm-hmm. crowd coming in. Well, um, I mean, you got the problem was you got the New York one, and it like I don't think they got the response that they want. They were they were hoping for. If they want warm, people will come. Oh yeah, but like, well, they want on. a perfect game. They don't want weather elements to affect the game. I want weather elements. So Fuck that shit, dude. that's typically why you'll get it in domes. Yeah, domes or in the game. south. You know, Florida gets all the little Florida gets um. So, but like domes, like a yeah, Atlanta, Florida, Atlanta. Arizona, you know. So. Yeah. So Arizona gets them um, because you're still playing on grass, but it's a dome. Um, Texas because Jerry Jones practically runs the league. Whatever Jerry says goes. Um, Did they just get like a new NFL fucking commissioner or whatever? No, the no he's not. Yeah, kids do it. Yeah, Goodell. Which my grandfather and I were talking about. This, if, if any year is the year for him to step down and retire, it's this year. Mm-hmm. Because he is, he is going to have a very stressful offseason between the racism lawsuit coming with, or well, that came with Brian Flores, um, that's gaining steam, the Washington football team's sexual John Mayer. allegations. John Mayer, what's that? Or, oh, yeah. John Gruden's. John Gruden's, yeah. Suing John the Mayer, the fucking singer. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like there's those three. Um, uh, there's another one. That's the wide receiver. Um, oh yeah, Antonio Brown suing the Bucks. Yeah, Antonio Brown. There's um, the kid that died. Diggs. It was his last name, I think. No, the guy right. that killed somebody. No, no, no. The guy that killed himself in the car crash in Vegas. Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs has that. Um, killed himself? What? Yeah. No, he didn't kill. Oh, him. Yeah, he killed, killed that lady. Yeah. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not fine. He himself. Drove his brand new Corvette. What, one fifty, yeah. One fifty on the dash. You know, one fifty on con, one fifty on contact, right? One bit. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so that means he was probably going close to like one eighty or something. New Chevy commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Built. Too dumb. Yeah. Built Chevy to me. The new C eight Corvette. Yeah. She won't survive, but you will. Yeah. Yeah. Who gives a fuck about her? Yeah. Peasant. Chevy Corvette. Yeah. Enjoy your time in prison. Enjoy your time in prison. So, you know, it's just been a lot of, it's been a big year for allegations. Well, what they're saying, so on the Mac show this week, they were talking about how everything's kind of going under the rug right now because the Super Bowl is coming up. Yeah. But once Super Bowl's over, all Mm -hmm. these is going to go headline news and it's not going to, it's not going to go away. They're going to figure it out during the offseason. Like Congress wants all the emails from from the Washington State Redskins football team, whatever you want to call them. 
The Reds. Um, That's why I grew up with them. <laughs> yeah, they they want that. I mean, the Flores. I mean, help. I mean, God help the NFL if like Jesse Jackson and Al Al, uh, Al Sharpton show up for on black on this racism allegations. I I'm mean, sure a lot of more people. So they start getting Colin Kaepernick. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, it could get right. that could get really nasty. To the point where yeah also yeah kaepernick's fucking documentary yeah. came out so it's it's a big deal so this will be a very interesting i mean the super bowl is exciting i think you have two teams that aren't typically in the super bowl no. yeah all the good ones got like fucking you know all the normal good ones I mean, well all the number the ones one seeds number one seeds lost individuals you know brady went down and then you know it's just ben's out there patrick finally lost him you know, Patrick's over time, there. which is hilarious. Aaron Rodgers isn't there, you know. So there's a lot of like big, big names that yeah, are. Yeah, we already knew so. Aaron Rodgers would be there. So I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we had that idea when we were watching the game. Like, mm-hmm. kudos to Skyler for not answering the phone. Yeah, you know, fucking uh, Brett either. Watching so. the Notebook instead, you know. Yeah, but he didn't want to watch that this <laughs> I mean, week. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna cry through either one. Of these. Yeah, <laughs> the way he's crying. Yeah. So. Yeah, kudos but, to him. Yeah, yeah. but you know. I, I'm excited for the Super Bowl. We're going to uh, try to coordinate some beers with the boys in that for the Super Bowl. So that way you guys can see. We'll do a companion show if we can. So it'll be a lot of fun. We'll convince Jared to make a bit, you know, because he's, like, yeah, he's right. doing great on those. You know? yeah. Come on, Idaho. Yeah. Let us sports bet, please. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? If only so. Well, especially because we used to have the horse track out here, which was like the only place that you could do any like sports betting. And what it, you know, because it's horse racing and then. Just one day they're just like no and they just cut that shit off i mean last year i had bets on the coin toss i had bets Jeez. on the color of the gatorade the celebratory gatorade the I had, color of the gatorade there's I a yellow right oh, oh yeah there's bets everywhere i mean i've always oh, yellow, some of the bets as soon as i find my phone it's over there I'm dead. there it is found it um there's bets on how long the national anthem's gonna be oh yeah Who's singing it this year? Do you know? I don't know. We can find out. I'm excited for the halftime show. That'll be very interesting, yeah. I'm well, excited to see some old school, like, you know, that's bringing it back, so. Yeah. I feel like they have been, like, doing more of, like, the older, you know, you know, style, bringing it back instead of um, having somebody new or, like, K-pop stars or something like that, you know, which is good, though. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I got upset. No, I mean, they might come second to the Shakira J-Lo Super Bowl show. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell, I'll share a story. So my son is 11 now, so that Super Bowl was the was, San Fran, Kansas City one. Yeah, that was two years ago. So that was two years ago. He was nine. I That was the day I found out my son loved girls. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, he cool. did not care about the game at all. And then all of a sudden, Shakira and J-Lo started mm-hmm. going on stage and doing what they do best. And he didn't say a word. And I his eyes, I don't think, blinked <laughs> yeah. the entire time of watching that. So, proud father moment right yeah. there. Um, yes. Yeah, you know, so I hope cool. he hears me because that was a great moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wish I took photos. I mean, Fucking the right. halftime right. show, though. Yeah, yeah, she'd be saying, nice. But yeah, that's what I said. I'm excited. Gra- uh, Multi Grammy nominated artist Mickey Gaitan and six time Grammy nominated uh, Janine Aiko. All right. Well, I'm an uncultured swine, so I don't know who either yeah, one no. of those people are. But I'm sure they'll do great during the national anthem. Well, as long as they don't do it, um, there's been a few bad ones <laughs> where they've dragged it out pretty fucking long and yeah. done their own fucking shit to it. So. Well, what was the other, what was the last one? The weekend, right? The weekend was last year's was halftime show. Yeah, 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 that was pretty good. I mean, like, because I haven't seen a good one since, like, at least the Black Eyed Peas. That one was fucking good. I yeah, so, it. yeah, the Black Eyed Peas were good. I didn't like the Hot Chili Peppers one that much. Um, they had the J-Lo and Shakira the was The rock good. and roll ones, as you know, they're air, they're airplane. Yeah. Because they're not plugged in or anything. Yeah. So it's all, like, and that's always the problem the next day is, like, oh, the flea's not connecting, so he's air guitar. And it's, like, well, no shit. Um, it's like they're not gonna put the mic on it. Yeah. It's like I and bet you logistically always, it's so fucking hard. Yeah, and then they always put in they always bring in some pop person to, to like come in and for the young people. Yeah, the but, surprise guest fucking Left Shark was great during Katy Perry and her fucking fireworks show. <laughs> so <laughs> God, that was a long movie. Yeah, who was Maroon Five? Who was that guy? Uh Adam Levine. Yeah, dude. I used to oh. 
That was just crazy to me. I didn't know. I didn't realize he had that many tattoos. <laughs> like, that was that was my only thing. It was like MGK up there, but you know, didn't have a pill problem. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! You know how funny it would be if MGK was the guest fucking. Yeah. Yeah. And just roast him alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Team. It'd be funny if we did fucking. Um, so here's some bets that you can get on DraftKings. Obviously not us, but uh, you can bet on if any kick is going to hit the uprights. Oh, any kick? Oh. Yeah. What's the percentage on it? Damn it! If so all the bears hits a, the <laughs> <laughs> if it hits the upright, it's plus four fifty. Okay. And if it doesn't, or no, is minus six fifty. Okay, so um, yes is the coin toss, coin toss winner, which team will win the coin toss, color of the Gatorade Ford on the winning head coach, uh, jersey number of the first touchdown, uh, over under minus, uh, over under uh, 23 and a half, um, then you can get a bet of will, Kansas, will Cincinnati win the coin toss and win the LA will win the coin toss. Wild. Uh, game specials. There was one where it was like, Will the opening kickoff uh, be a uh, be a touchback? Wow! And I remember last year I made money on that because I bet no, it wouldn't be because last year on the Pat McAfee show that he explained that the so the first the opening kickoff ball is a brand spanking new ball, mm-hmm. fresh out of the plastic, everything, mm-hmm. and it literally gets kicked, and then it goes to Canton, Ohio, with the whole thing. Um, uh, say, or, or area, or whatever. yeah, it's a museum building, but, yeah. um, museum, yeah. So it's a fresh ball that no one gets to touch. It's like hard as a rock, and oh. so it's it's not a good. Basically, it's not a good kicking ball. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then they were saying like, because Harrison Bucker was last year's opening kickoff kicker, they were like, he's got a leg, he can get it out of the stadium, but. Because it's the opening kickoff of the Super Bowl, the kickoff returner is going to want to have oh, to yeah. kick it off. Like he's going to want to return it. So you've got a ball that's not good kicking, and you've got a, like an adrenaline rush kick returner. It like odds are it's not going to go. It's not going to be. It's a not gonna be I wonder how much like um, Bears, uh, Bears and Colts. I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. Who returned it? The opening Devin kickoff. Hester. Devin Hester. Jesus. Devin Hester that took it. I wonder how much, you know. Yeah, I wonder if that's like on a higher post, you know. <laughs> just just like, like, okay, on that was just a little bit higher. Like, yeah, inches. this one went back. <laughs> this one also this got one, a touchdown. Yeah, this one went for a touchdown. So oh, we're going to put this one a little bit higher. Maybe a little bold. I know, that's wild at the beginning. <laughs> that's cool. I, didn't, I actually did not know that. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 I didn't know that either. That's cool, that's though. The, that's the, the opening kickoff ball is the that's the first and only play it plays. Mm. It go literally like the ref takes it and it goes to somebody in the NFL and they yeah, it just goes towards like so is it like, is it like a museum or something like it, in so a Canton is a museum yeah okay. it's a little build it's a small building um, filled with kickoff footballs <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if they keep every single kickoff ball or if they showcase but yeah I've been to Canton once we. Uh, my sophomore year in college, we got to play at the stadium, Ooh. the Hall of Fame stadium. Not very nice, and I totally understand why professional athletes sick. do not want to be there. The locker room is about the size of this room. Okay. Mm, damn. So, is the turf like shit? No, no, it's fine. The field's fine. Yeah. Um, no, the lock. It, it's yeah. the the other amenities. Like literally, the locker room is about the size of this room, maybe a little bit bigger. So yeah. you're shoving. Yeah, and so in preseason, you're shoving ninety players mm-hmm. in a small room like that to change and get ready. It's yeah. not possible. Yeah. No, it's not even stinks. It's okay, like hey, you know, the bottom bottom half of the team get ready and get the fuck out okay. of the locker room yeah. so those stars can play or yeah. get yeah. ready or whatever. <laughs> so it's just it's very uncomfortable. Well, isn't that like a normal thing? Like, obviously, if you're playing in like Gillette Stadium or you know. The older ones. Candle, yeah, Candlestick Stadium, you know, like the home team slucker is massive, and aren't the guest teams just like... You know, they're, they're not sure. like, the, just like the janitor's closet, you know? No, <laughs> they're not like the janitor's closet. No, I know, they are smaller yeah. than yeah. the home team. I think, uh, I forget what team, there's one team where the visiting locker room is painted pink. That's awesome. I want to say it's, it, I want to say it's Chiefs or, or the Packers, yeah. and I don't remember which one. <laughs> But yeah, there's one there's one lo- visiting locker room that's painted pink. Um, 
colleges have the best, I think, visiting locker rooms because, like, you have, like, LSU has the tiger literally in a cage right in front of the visiting locker room. So they have to go see. They, they have to walk past this tiger. Like a real tiger? It's a real Holy legit shit. tiger, yeah. That's badass. So in high school, and you can ask Jared about it, I totally forgot, in high school in Spotsylvania County, there is a high school, uh, Louisa High School in Louisa County. Um, they have a, a real live lion at their high school football games that sits on the visitor, like on the track, but on the visitor sideline. And it just, yeah. That's, I got to experience that my freshman year in high school. That's fucking that, I was start throwing shit. I'm like, dude, bro. Yeah, that was, that was scary. Yeah, Not so scary. It's a shame. It's like it's totally, totally yesterday. I start throwing them at yeah. <laughs> So I remember when that we first met Jay. Jared, he found out I lived in Spotsylvania County. That's what, what was the first thing we talked about. That's fucking wild. Yeah. You know what I remember? Or a lion. Yeah, I remember sure both sitting in an end zone, just sitting down, get screamed at. You know? <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool. Like, especially that little hill you guys have where that statue lion is. Yeah, it was like a real lion that just like and rah. Yeah, and you get to do a quick roar, like yeah. Man, or if like someone really domesticated the fuck out of one, like, walk it down. It's just a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's just a cat. He has the laser pointer. That's how he walks. <laughs> 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 like, you're just over there, like pointing at the sideline for the other team. Second, so, like, he gets annoyed at that toy. He pulls out another one. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's a box. <laughs> just like a giant ass <laughs> box. Just a box of the uh, head coach. Dude, the place imagine the liability <laughs> insurance you gotta have <laughs> to own a lion or a tiger. Like, yeah, that's fucking wild. Like, yeah, it's our field and our campus and everything. What's that over there? It's a cage. You're like, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> That's, uh, Bill. <laughs> yeah. So those, I mean, those pro, like, I think respectfully, they're a little bit small. Like, they're not tiny. Yeah. They're, they're a little, but they are smaller. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you just strategically, what you, what kind of happens is everybody, at least in the pros, everyone goes out and kind of warms up and digs around on the field. And then the specialists will get ready during that time, like kickers, punters, and returners and stuff. And then as the other athletes go in to get in the locker room, the specialists come out and start warming up. And then so they're not, so it's not, not as, every yeah, single fucking player. It's not as crowded. Yeah, and yeah. then you have, I mean, it, 53 players does sound like a lot. I think 60 dress on the game. But 53 players do sound like a lot, but um, it's not really that much in a spacious area. Well, so, yeah, you're a kicker up there. You can give a fuck. Yeah, goal? You, yeah, yeah, you can be having, like, you know, the home team can be, like, doing their fucking in- introduction to your home yeah. kicking. Oh, hey, your guy was, was, like, yeah, was like, goal's good. Yeah. So I was like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, but, you know, I mean, every single one was fucking there, you know? Well, I mean, so. hey, I mean, but, yeah, I was very shocked that the Packers, that no one in the Packers, like, did anything. But, yeah, Ramsey was like, yeah, we're not doing that today. <laughs> <laughs> not today. Yeah, goal's great. I mean, he fucking did it. In between the fucking Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, so I was like, "You're stronger than most men." So. Solid gold, man. Yeah, I was like, "God damn!" I was like, "No wonder why you're in the position that you're in." Because I don't know anybody else that would have been like, "Oh, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders." Let me just practice kicking right now. Yeah, you know, well, I'm sure his wife is, you know, in his mind. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, like a good husband. Just yeah. kicks it, just shakes it so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His wife texts him like, that. "What the fuck was that?" Now? <laughs> to the camera they're like you're off and he's just like <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a kicking ball all right yeah, isn't the Mr. Dallas- Roll you're yeah. off the camera please yeah. like, all right, isn't the Dallas Cowboys the only one where they make like an actual like enough money to be like cheerleaders and shit like that the other ones are paid like dirt cheap or some shit uh I think Raiderettes maybe it's the Raiders but yeah most of them are just it's, it's good money but yeah they need a real job yeah. on the outside so Make like twenty thousand. They all have OnlyFans now. They yeah. don't have real jobs anymore, you know. So yeah, I wonder if they're not. They're probably not allowed to because even though they're not a football player, they're still associated with the NFL. Mm-hmm. So I know what you're talking about. Antonio Brown though, they're making sex tapes. <laughs> dude, I can't believe he was making a sex tape the night before that dude, whole dude, thing. Yeah, it's probably planned. You know, he's like, I'm I'll show you how fucking crazy he is. Just yeah, but I mean, he planned it because I think he told the girl. That, the night before, like, hey, wait, watch, watch tomorrow, like, I'm gonna do some stupid shit or whatever. So this wasn't, 
I, I, it came off as this was a very plain. She's gonna, thing. she's gonna sue Antonio Brown after he wins his case. Yeah, she becomes pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder if Antonio Brown will win his case, but I mean, I don't think he will. Who fucking knows? Oh well, dumbass. Yeah, but I mean, he's gonna be out there like, all right, he's gonna do Colin Kaepernick. He's like, who wants me? And everyone's gonna be like, no. Yeah, no. Oh, I mean, I'm like, uh, um, like, we're good. It's like, I give you maybe a year <laughs> until I go insane again. So yeah, I'm going to pull all my pads off and walk off the field. He's not insane. He has a very high IQ, okay? Get it right. Yeah, so. yeah. If you wouldn't want to sue us for defamation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Anyone that kicks a punch in the face is a winner in my book. <laughs> <laughs> God, Jesus. Good oh, Lord. Yeah, I was talking to a guy, a buddy at work, and he's like, Terry Brown kicked the punter in the face. I'm like, that's yeah, his motherfucking highlight reel. Really. Yeah. That's like a number one of his play. best plays. He has a, an opportunity to run a punt back for a touchdown. He's like, no, nah, fuck that. Just runs up and kicks a fucking punter in the face. <laughs> yeah. But they're in the AFC North, so I mean. Yeah, who cares? Up there. And it was the Browns. Yeah, it, so. it was a, a, a <laughs> divisional rival, so. Yeah. What do you guys do? Yeah. Are you excited for our fucking softball team that we're going to have soon? <laughs> Uh, we'll see. I'm excited for being just an athlete or yeah. a player on the team yeah. I and mean, not being the coach. Me and Sam will be the coach. Yeah. Wait, oh, well, well, I am not going to be. Worry. That. We'll be the ones yelling uh, at you now. We didn't tell him who's going to be captain. Uh, it's so not me. Yeah. <laughs> it's not me. It's Skyler, dude. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Whoa. <laughs> Me and Seth are the only ones allowed to yell the office. Yeah, so, that's okay. all. Yeah. We're going to have our team captain with the C on his jersey up there yelling at an umpire. Never played baseball in his life. Like, how yeah. Much yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but, yeah. I, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I'm yeah. excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, honestly. Does that start? Uh, it's going to be April. So, so like, right yeah. around the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. At the same time, as. Football, so, so if you um, want to kill yourself after a football game, you can go play uh, fucking softball. Usually not on Saturdays, though. So yeah, yeah, yeah you go Monday, know? Wednesday. It could be on Monday or Wednesday or Friday. Because I remember I said that, and so it was like three times a week. I'm like, I saw that. I was, I was like, who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it could be on a Monday. Oh man! I was like, all right, you're yeah, right. <laughs> and yeah, and they're a pretty local field to here at least. So yeah, it's like we're either well, most of that could be paying at Willow. Yeah, Willow. Is, Willow. Willow has State Street, right? Yeah. 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 It's uh, either Willow or um, and we can play either wild to Willow on that field. Either wild. Yeah, because you'll run the base and then your ankles will just snap. Yeah. So you're running across that dirt that's been ran over by like twenty five thousand semis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh, let's pack it down. They're like, all right, let's pack it down more and more and more. Yeah, Willow's actually a pretty good field. They have six fields, mm-hmm. so. You don't get too many nasty hops it's there session, or anything like that. There's mosquitoes. The sun's always there's gonna be foxes. In the yeah. Like, yeah, when I was playing during the fall, there was like I literally was like on first base and I looked out to the back and there was a fucking fox out there. I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, and a deer. I was like, what the fuck's going on? It's like field one. Was it field four, five, and six? And yeah. Like, um, fucking. You're blinded by the sun. <laughs> yeah, and that kids up so like, family comes, so they'll be in the shade. You'll be out there dying from mosquitoes, yeah. bee death, geese. Um, one, two, and three have like trees, and but that's where the concessions is. So yeah. they don't use the, wait. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a good. It's a good. It's a we good. Uh, you guys gotta go, go through, through the. the uh, team name. You know what? Yeah, we were good. Team. Well, if you go to like one, two, and three, you have like, any references on the team name? Just yeah. comment. Comment. Um, fucking send us yeah, an email. Yeah. We want them all. So. Okay, it has to be. You know, we have to like put it through the city for it to be like accepted so no. we want all the ones that the city wouldn't accept yeah. and if we choose your team name you need to win something cool just for just tell us what you think would be an awesome name and then just give us one and you know maybe the city will accept but yeah put in your offers we got some pretty good ones online so yeah. change your minds yeah. we, we got some ideas cooking so yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah that's gonna be fun that'll be something that we'll also try to document some oh and I don't know if anyone knows but Jared Smith be on our team. Yeah. Team captain. We're going to go Jared. Yeah, Jared proud Jared. of you. Just yeah, signed. Jared, Recently yeah. signed. Yep. Well, recently signed. He's no longer a free agent. Yep, so he's yep. taken. Yep. Uh, Sorry, guys. He's taken and he's going to obliterate. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be awesome. He's going to be. Yeah. He's going to play third. <laughs> he's going to play short. Yeah. He's going to play all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every week's a new position. Batting fourth. Yeah. yeah. Batting fourth. You won't know where he's at. Just great. All around player. All around athlete. 
He's gonna show up in hockey gear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shohei Otani, you know, a bunch of yeah. He's so good, he'll never have to warm up, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. You already have cleats, so that makes it perfect. He'll um, be always ready. He's gonna throw you out from left field to first. Yeah, you know. left field to home. Don't get caught slipping out there. You're gonna run like a cannon, so. Can't wait to see you out there, Jared. Yeah. Proud of you. We'll make sure we send you this clip. Yep. <laughs> Show how good you are. So much faith we have in you. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of sports stuff that we're doing here soon. Uh, we're gonna play some disc golf tournaments hopefully this year too. So this will be fun. Yeah. This is like another thing. You should go disc golfing with us. It's a lot of fun to walk around and throw shit. You know. Yeah. So you're gonna see us be like, all right, see the basket. Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, interesting. Yeah, you, know, you see that giant ass bush over there? Yeah. yeah, it's going right for the middle. Right, so. right. And it'd be like that Family Guy skip. It's like, don't aim for the water. You just throw it. It's like, you hit the water. I know, I hit the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's that poor man's golf is yeah. really what it is. So. Okay. A little frothing. Mm -hmm. Frothing. <laughs> yeah. There's a dish, uh, disc shop down the street, actually. So. I think I've seen. One disc. I suggest going to like Blagan Sports and buying cheap discs before you buy expensive discs. Yes. Like you're throw do you want me to buy discs or do you want me to buy a, 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 a baseball bat? Oh. Uh, you can buy. You're getting one of the other. You can buy discs for like buy a disc for like shit. two dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got some you can borrow that yeah. you can throw away. Pretty you, much. You so. can actually borrow Reds, nice ones, and then throw those in the water. Yeah, like Red. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking bellum that he used to have. Yeah. He used yeah. to on this oh. disc, and you know we're his just... favorite disc in the fucking world. And this, 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 this hole was kind of fucked. You know, it's like there's a lot of hazards. You know, we're all throwing our shit against Reds. He's just <laughs> being Red. You know, this is his sport. He's really good at. It. He just bombs it and just goes right into this fucking yeah, area. We're like, huh? He's like, I'm gonna make sure it gets there the first time, right? And I like fucking give it like half. Power. I swear he did full power, and we just never saw that disc ever. <laughs> I was like, interesting. You looked for a while, but well, we did nothing. <laughs> yeah. While we sat there after we played our whole in the shade, you know, because you know? yeah. <laughs> it's hot like, outside. It's like I'm going home. You know, we're like, all right, bye. Yeah, we're not, <laughs> so, not, yeah. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun that day. Yeah. So, and then you know what we should have done? We should have gone like a paper plate and drawn like like two hundred discs and pull out of our bag, <laughs> just like a fucking paper plate. Actually, find it, posted it on there. Like, all right, disc for sale. Yeah, <laughs> Red's name on yeah, Red. Like... Yeah, Red Fisher on the back. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I, I think he ended up buying like almost an identical one because he liked it so much or something. But yeah, that's how it goes. But it's a lot of fun. Just walk around, drink. We have a lot of fucking summer, spring, fall activities coming up. I'm excited. Oh, I'd suggest you uh, use Yeah, I was just gonna hit up eBay. Or something. Uh, but you yeah, well, you, well yeah. the only thing is like there's a sizing, you know. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Uh, I wear a baby. I wear a baby baby. We'll get there. You know, I'll cross. Uh, yeah. Let me. New, new bits are awful. Yeah. Let me get to. Uh, new bits you have to break. They're like new cleats. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'm experiencing that now. So. But, yeah, there was like a whole method to a, how I would break in a glove because you only do it so often, and it's like wrapping like the like baseball. Yeah, 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 yeah base, yeah. you know, yeah. putting Sit it on there. it for a while. Yeah, I remember. You fucking shove it in the oven with oil on it and stuff like that, and it's like low, low G, you know, so yeah, easy. all sorts of stupid shit. Yeah, put it between the mattress, get on the heat. Go make off to the mitts. Not doing that. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna use glove and uh, you know I'm we'll gonna use catcher's glove playing shortstop. <laughs> yeah. Like all right, guys. Yeah, I just want the thick ass one. Yeah. Just the all the little dude. I have one actually for you if you want it. <laughs> I have a first base mitt that you can use. All right, guys. Oh. Here we go. All my shit's left handed. Never mind. <laughs> So. Nick's gonna show up in a fucking lacrosse fucking. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Will I this work? You. Yeah. Hey, blues. I got this. Yeah. Let's yeah. Fuck. Just like, don't take it to your hand. Come on! <laughs> right, a ASA Sharpie on it. Like, it's approved. Man. Yeah, it's approved. Yeah, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna try to get a new bat, too. Get something like that's like a drop 12. <laughs> Just everyone will be able to hit them all yeah, yeah. <laughs> No problems. Juiced up bat, like, shit, don't run. You should see some of the assess bats. We're gonna lose every game, because I'm pretty sure you have to hit one, and they have to hit one, so. Yeah. Oh, home run, yeah, dude. It's fucking, yeah, that's the, that's the rules. Oh, wow. So, you get, if, Oh, you each get one, and then after that, the, um, 
I think it's whoever hit the first one, the other team has to hit one after that, and mm -hmm. then the first team can do it. So there's sometimes where like hitting home run can be bad. So like yeah, sometimes I gotta dial down the power, you know. But uh, especially if you're first at the bat, like first out, you know, and you smack the home run out, everyone's like, Yay, yeah. Yeah. Nobody hey, else. Nobody else is on the base. Ass, yeah. Like yeah. you dickhead. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, should be fun. That happens a lot. So. Yeah, you get to see the non-athlete in me, but that's all right. What do you mean? All you gotta do is run 90 feet. Oh, once I get on base, I'm good. It's yeah. Yeah, no, there's no ceiling or anything like that. Yeah, so no worry. Uh, you have us as base coaches. You have a grandpa yeah. like, go to! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going! <laughs> you better <laughs> get down, <laughs> motherfucker! You're sliding. Good thing you wore pants today! <laughs> God. No, Skyler with his legs. Dude, Skyler's not allowed to talk. We're fucking duct taping him for the whole fucking game. I told you, dude, the paintball. Give me the paintball gun, dude. I have one. We just didn't get CO2. When <laughs> Skyler starts fucking off, mouth off the ref, we're just gonna shoot the ball. Yeah. So Super so like, like, ah! <laughs> like, yeah, I thought so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Todd's got, got everything. Yeah. I mean, didn't it? Todd's yeah. the one that said he has everything. Yeah, yeah we, we have a bunch of shit, too, so we just uh, need to coordinate. Yeah. Cool. So, but it, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a beer league, just like what we did for football. What you guys did. <laughs> what I did, yeah. Us! Yeah, yeah, yeah. My team! My, my team. team! There were some sober people in there. Yeah. No, the fuck there wasn't. Last I checked, we won. Yeah. Last oh. I checked, I did my job great. So. <laughs> and I was drunk as shit, so. Hey, the catch. offense scored every game, right? I don't want to hear it. Yeah. You know I mean? The defense got a lot of interceptions, yeah. so there's probably more interceptions than scored points. Uh, no. I mean, hey, goals versus COVID Cowboys. Be ready, yeah. Because training, training camp <laughs> open day one. Oh, Nick Saban's back. Yeah. All right, uh, back for Sunday, Bowl. Sunday, yeah. Sunday. Yeah. So that's yeah. how it's gonna have to be. These are all pieces of shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna show up Sunday. It's gonna be six o'clock. We're gonna be on a field. Your feet are gonna be soaked because there's dew on there. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get at it. You're gonna fucking. You're gonna get. It. Catch grounders, fly balls, fucking beamers. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yeah, I'm gonna fucking be out there and get it. Get it. Get it. Fuck it. Yeah, get a bucket. Yeah, we got. Balls. Yeah, we got a fucking bunch of them. We'll do some practicing before. We'll uh, see how people, you know, fill them out. And then designate everyone to play catcher. No. <laughs> Everyone's playing right field until otherwise. Right, right field. Right field. We're just gonna play catcher. You know, you play right field. <laughs> get your bat. I'm playing catch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it should be fun. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun like how before. You know, it's just gonna be us drinking, dicking around, having be us, the team, Jared. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jared. Jared, I can't wait. We're gonna name the team after you, Jared. Actually, yeah. so especially if you, any of you have suggestions. When did we name the team Jared and the Jets? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I talked to him about that. I know we're gonna have to, you know. So. We would, go, we would go 0-8 as Kobe Cowboys. We did that. <laughs> get cursed. Yeah. But, yeah, so if you have any suggestions for Jared in the name, that would be much appreciated. Yeah. So Jared the Jets is uh, taken. So. We'll tell him tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll let him know tonight. No. <laughs> like, Jared, we just got the softball team name. Yeah. Jared the Jets. Yeah, yeah, I'll fake a video with, like, a billion yeah. views and be like, oh, people <laughs> want it. People want it, Jared. A billion views. Like, dude, this is the most. Dude, game. China loves it, man. Yeah, you're on the team, man. You're China number one. China, loves China number it. one, and we just started fucking. We're like the about. Chinese people shirts just like crop his face. And <laughs> Look at this. Can you read this? And it's like just straight Chinese. <laughs> It's yeah, like here's this random Jared's, It's just Jared's face and then a jet just going around yeah. the top of his head. Like, that's our logo, dude. It's you. Yeah. That's fucking bad, dude. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited for it to be out of winter so that way we can start playing all the sports. We're going to make we're gonna make it Jared Smith Shooters. Yeah. That's the last name, Smith. Add yeah. it to the name list. <laughs> Friend and follow him. Yeah. Find and follow him. <laughs> Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, I'm so excited. We got a bunch of oh, here not this week, but today. Next week, we got a big, big reveal. Some new 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 stuff coming out. So some new toys. Yeah, some new toys, some new opportunities. New ideas, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun for us and we think you're gonna like it. Well actually we know you're gonna like it because we're that great, so just let's anything with us. 
Yeah, it's great. It's basically a great movie. No, it's like, you know, wacky inflatable sex dolls. Yeah, yeah wacky inflatable <laughs> sex dolls. But better. <laughs> Yes. It's wacky and playable six all too. Yeah. <laughs> now I know what's gonna be in our sidelines in the softball games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, what is that anyway? Yeah. I was plugging in shit. Why okay. can't we do that on the bench? There's just an inflatable sex doll. Yeah, like, Parker Lace is going to be playing as we're walking out there the black, black inflatable sex doll. Wah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, we should get a sex doll for the softball. Blue's team. like, hey, what the fuck? Like, yeah, guys, Blue. Yeah. Don't look that way, please. Yeah. Right. For charity, you asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. God, do you hate kids with can- ass cancer? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking degenerate. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, oh, you know, I didn't know. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, like, what the fuck is this? I'm transgender. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, okay, sorry. It's my tea partner. Yeah, yeah. it's just, just like roided up. <laughs> like, just wearing a bra, just roided as shit. Uh, what we're going to have is like our fourth batter is actually going to be our weakest batter so that way they keep scooting back but really it's <laughs> Scoot forward it's a bunch you know <laughs> oh really it's, it's a diversion it's a diversion <laughs> yeah, it's something that looks like they're jack but it can only hit three feet so yep. that would be me <laughs> no don't you worry all of you are going to have the batting technique don't worry once you make contact you make good contact I'm you better start fucking running because we're going to be yelling at you i swear i'm going to eat you up bro as soon as i'm hitting i'm running yeah that's funny yeah, that's the other foul ball. Yeah. As long as you don't throw the bat at the arm, I can give two fucks less what you do after you hit that ball. So it's going to be As long as you don't throw the bat, especially if it's high back. Yeah. You just hit it and then drop it. That's fine. Yeah. Don't point that shit. Ah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to politely swing it like Ken Griffey Jr. and then just drop Well, I've seen people swing it, let go of it on the back swing, and fucking hit the... Yeah, that's a good way to get kicked out of a game immediately. I've seen lots of fucking... Crazy ass shit with dumb ass people. Ooh, fuck. I used to go up when I would go up to bat, I could do the fucking bounce bats, uh, bat bounce behind the back, and then fucking get ready and swing. Yeah, that was a total douchebag move. And then I hit a home run, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. Next Babe Ruth, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just go out there. Point out middle, yeah. Just point out middle, yeah. Point out. Just <laughs> pop up to the pitcher. I, sh- I shit you not. Almost every time, first, for, first strike. Or first ball, I swing it almost like every time, unless it's. I swear to God, every time it's a foul, <laughs> it's like out of the fucking park. Like it always goes behind me. Then I'm like, well, I guess I should, you know, swing like a decent human being, and I fucking rip that shit. Me, I'm like, wow, that's a fancy pitch. I'm like right up. <laughs> I'm like, because <laughs> I usually start with a one and one count. So yeah. yeah, after that you're like, well, now I. I'll if go. it looks good, if you think it's good, you gotta swing. Because like, if you have something come over your eyes. Like, at your fucking shins, and then we're up and like, yep, strike, you're out. Yeah. They're not paid highly, obviously, as you can oh, tell from the football league, yeah. so. Um, yeah. I swing it like the first one. Also, I will aim at the pitcher. I don't give a fuck, because I'm a pitcher, and I can catch the ball. Yeah, it's so, it's if you can't, yeah, it's frowned upon. Don't hit him, but. Yeah, yeah are we getting Ritz dad? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be a great addition to be to be a pitcher or a catcher. He's going to be a great addition to make him feel old. Oh, what's going to be even better is she's going to fucking shame Brett. And that's <laughs> the best form of parenting I can think of, so. Because, I mean, he's going to get a lot of shaming from us. And then we're going to be like, Robert, is this your son, bro? <laughs> uh, this came was he a dancer when he was a kid? <laughs> and I swear to God, if any of you drop a fly ball, I would come out there and murder you my fucking self, so. Yeah, don't put me in the office. Alright, mm-hmm. kid, no problem. <laughs> Just, just put it out there. Yeah, Red's right field. The, uh, the only thing... It's going to be a whole thing of left hand. Left hand yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like this fucking bunch of Japanese people just drilling them out there. So We're not going to tell anything about hooks. So like when the game comes around and Red's up there, I'm like, hook. I'm just going to stare at him. He's not going to know what he means. Yeah. He's getting ready <laughs> 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 And the base it's coming the towards you. Yeah, we're gonna get a giant speaker. Oh, dude, it'd be so much fun to have like beers with the boys, like this, porters and shit like that, on the fans, and we're just like talking shit to them. Yeah. Oh, no. That's from Call of Duty. Don't listen to him. That's from Zombies. Yep. That's in trouble. Everyone's messing. Something like that. But, yeah. That's probably wrapped this up. Yeah. 
Well, I think we're about done wrapped up. Any closing statements that you guys have? Let me get the beer bong. Sports, sports, and more sports. You want a beer bong that? Oh, yeah. Of course. Just open, like you just so opened. Do yeah, so you want to? Yeah. I'll do the beer bong. The keystone just opened, I guess. All right, closing statement. We can definitely get a nice big speaker. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, they, they make them cheap now. Oh, don't worry. They're, it's going to show up to the Cobra Cowboys. Oh, okay. Just playing Cardi the whole time. Cardi, the Cardi. Yeah, game. and so City like girls. Usually the rule is that like you can play whatever you want as long as the other team can play whatever they want. I'm down. I uh, do not. Do not care. Yeah, I didn't ask either. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna have batting songs. Mine's probably gonna be for delicious. So. Oh god, what did mine used to be? Oh, sexy and I know it by LMFAO. Skyler's has got to be like some hilarious one. Girl. Beast boosted. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours gonna be? I don't know. I mean, how real? Do, how how you know serious do we want to make it? Because I, I make, make this, mine funny. Yeah. But, I mean, we can make this. I make it funny. I could probably do Bodak Yellow <laughs> and just me. Hey, you have the keystone. All right, black says. Yeah. You want Bodak Yellow? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seth is going to be City Girl. You have to try and live your best life right now. Best life ever. What else? Closing statements. Uh, hail to the Redskins. Team name sucks. Fuck the Commanders. Um, yeah, fuck the Commies. But I'll be a hypocrite because I'll probably still be a team fan. So. Yeah, well, you know, I'm That's good. team, not the name. You never know. They could change their name again. I mean, how often is it that? Um, I think it's five years they have to, before they can change the team name again. But I just, uh, whatever. Yeah. How often do teams change their name? Not very often. Unless Usually it's like the city. Yeah, unless they, like unless LA they change Rams, the you know, something like that. Well, LA was, it was still St. Louis Rams, but then LA Rams. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, usually the city part changes, but not the actual name itself, you know. Yeah. Change I mean, yeah, the Houston Oilers <laughs> turned into the Tennessee Titans. Uh, the Black Sox. Is this still oh, that's right? baseball. Um, Black Sox changed into the um, Red Sox. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. But, well, the Redskins were originally, which I think could have been cool if they did it, and I don't know if Atlanta, maybe, you know, they didn't want to be copy Atlanta, but the Redskins were originally the Boston Braves, and then they moved to D.C. and became the Washington Redskins. Mm -hmm. So it would have been cool if you, because, like, the owner and management and everybody was constantly saying, like, we're keeping the tradition. It would have been cool to maybe go back to the Braves, given that Atlanta – isn't going to change their name. They should have been the Washington Comrades. They just lean even harder into the Commodores. I saw that one. That was a good one. They should be the Pirates. No, we got the Buccaneers. They're Pirates. I didn't mind the Wolves because there was so much you could do with the Wolves. I hated Red Wolves. I thought that was stupid. But Wolves would have been good because, like, every, like, just like the Eagles and the Panthers and the Ra I don't think the Ravens do it, but, like, Panthers and Eagles, like, every first down, they make, like, a panther sound. Or they make yeah. an animal sound. Like, you could have done, like, the the howling wolf yeah. every first down or touchdown or whatever. You, but, right. whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. It, it's the command. It could now. be worse, so. I don't know if it can be as worse. Well, I think it's I mean, it's yeah, pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty trash. It's pretty bad. I mean, I think the only worse one would have been Admirals because there is not a Navy base or anything in D.C. at all. So, like, well, not yeah, for Commander in Chief is based there. Yeah, Commander in Chief, Commander in Ship. I whatever. Commander Dickwad. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I hope they probably have a good marketing. Whoever made that name and got paid to do that, like, kudos to them. Yeah, but. And I, I, whatever. He's playing Call of Duty in like Mop Max level. It's like Commander. Yeah. He's like, oh, hell yeah! Oh, that's great. Yeah, we're in Commander, bro. 
So much Magger to call Google. So, but yeah, they'll be, someone will call them next year. They'll, they'll be the Washington Commies and the fact that their colors are red and yellow. Especially when they fuck up and That's do some say, communism it's, shit. It's, it's over, dude. That, if, <clears throat> yeah, once that stakes, it's going to stick, dude. I'm just, yeah, it's going to stick. It's bad. And then the fact that, like, Biden's, whatever. I won't even get, I won't even get <laughs> political on it, so. All right, we're going to end it here. Thank you All guys right. so much for joining us. Please subscribe. Like beers with the boys. Comment for team names for the softball. Yeah. Team. yeah. Um, please include Jared's name if you can. Yeah. You can listen as many as you Find want. Jared Smith, add him, message him, do yeah. everything you can. Jared Smith. Smith. He's on the team. Yes. He's on the team. Greatest shortstop team. ever. Yes. Greatest shortstop slash third slash second slash first slash outfielder we've ever had. So. Really couldn't do it without our main star pitcher, Jared Smith. All right. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you guys Thank so you much. Guys. And we'll see you soon. Oh. You may. You know, it's probably going to be hard to bully him and be on this team. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. No. Hey! We got to talk to his wife, dude. Well, the problem is she's going to want to play. Whoa.